<sighs> Today was such a long day. Coming. <coughs> <coughs> Welcome back home, sweetie. How was your day at work? Thankfully, I've got a job this time, but it's not paying as much as the last one. But what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be resting up right now? Where's mom? She... Um... She went to... Let me guess. Dating another man? Dad, why are you letting this happen? You're acting as if you're happy staying with mom even though she's cheated on you thrice. Come on, Dad. Let's leave this prison. I promise I'll manage everything. But I loved her so much, sweetie. I can't divorce her. Plus... <coughs> she's been taking care of this house for ages. Ever since I've been diagnosed with cancer. She's paying for my medication. And for your education. But, Dad! No, sweetie. I'm just waiting for you to finish your education. And soon you'll find a man who will love you the way you deserve. And I'll die happy after seeing my grandchildren. Dad, I love you. I'll never leave you. I promise. I love you so much too, sweetie. You're my whole world. <laughs> I was just a teen. And like any other teen, I wanted to live a normal life. You see, we used to be the richest in town, but then my dad was diagnosed with cancer all of a sudden and no one in my family was able to take care of my dad's business. And that's how our rival were able to become more successful and my dad's whole business went down. We all became homeless in just one night. We lost everything. We were all depressed, but mom used to be more depressed than anyone in the family. So she decided to take a step and she would bring guys over our place and always made me her servant to please her boyfriend. I get it that she was doing this to earn some money, but I was so heartbroken to see she was doing all of this in front of my dad's presence, and dad wouldn't say a word. Of course they had fights sometimes, maybe more than that, but it never got far. Mom usually cried and dad's heart would melt upon seeing her beauty and never did anything. I hated mom so much that I may be the first kid on this earth who wanted her parents to divorce because I was done with my mom. People would usually tell me that I looked just as pretty as my mom and unlike any other teen, I would hate it. I didn't want to be like my mom, so I decided to wear fake glasses and act like a nerd all the time. I got bullied a lot for being a nerd in school, and especially when the other kids found out about my mom. They would not only make fun of her by using bad names, but they would make fun of me as well. But I was not like a mom who would take her beauty for granted, only to please men. But who knows, maybe one day I'll change my mind and go even worse than my own mother. <laughs> huh? Where's that noise coming from? Ah, stop it! <gasps> oh no, it's coming from the boys' bathroom! Uh, answer my question! Where is my homework? I told you to complete it till tomorrow morning! Where is it now? Let me go! I told you I accidentally forgot your homework at home! You can take mine instead! Hey! Let him go, you freak! Uh, how dare you, you little rat! No one is allowed to treat anyone so horribly! If you can't do your own homework, then get yourself a freaking tutor! Or maybe, you know what? Get a life! You better watch your mouth, you little rat. Or else you'll regret it. <laughs> Just run to your mom, stupid bully. <laughs> Shoot, did I really just say all of that? Oh no. <clears throat> uh, are you okay? I... Thanks for saving me. I gotta go now. Bye. Uh, but wait! Uh, that's weird. I just helped him and he just leaves? Wow. Huh? A text message? From who? <gasps> oh! 
can't believe it! Liliana's here! <laughs> hey, girl! What's up? I just came to Brookhaven City last night, and today I'm heading to the Rockstar Clothing Store! Meet me there at 4 p.m. Can't wait! Bye! See you there! Thank you for your service. Here's the pay. Carla! Ah, my childhood bestie! How are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. Oh my, my, look at you, girl. You've changed a lot. And so have you. All I can see you wearing is Gucci, Chanel, and... Is that Balenciaga? Oh, yeah, girl! <laughs> my boyfriend just got me this on my birthday. He's super duper rich. Oh, I see. So, uh, what are you doing here? Are you shopping for something? Mm-hmm. Actually, I was thinking of getting my boyfriend something good, and the only thing I could think of was getting some branded outfits. <laughs> but anyways, before we do, tell me more about your life. How's your family? Um, pretty much the same. Or, well, should I say, it's gone worse now? Oh no, what happened? Is Mr. Michael okay? He's struggling, but doing a good job. As for mom, she barely visits us. I don't even remember the last time I saw her. She calls dad here and there, but that's about it. Oh man, I feel so bad for you. I think you should really find a decent man for yourself. What do you mean? I mean, look at me. I was in your shoes when we were little. My family struggled pretty much the same, but then everything got better when I started dating my boyfriend Jacob. He's a little older than me, but eh, to be honest, I think it'll work the same for you. Everyone knows how beautiful you are behind those glasses. Use your beauty and get financially strong. Um, we'll talk about it later, Liliana. Uh, come on now, let's do some shopping. Oh, yep, sure! <laughs> oh my gosh, girl, check this out! <laughs> Coming! Hey! Oh, jeez! Who is this? Huh? Ahem! Excuse me, girl! Stop seducing my boyfriend! I I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to do anything. Well, you should have! It's alright! <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes. I hope you're not hurt. No, I'm not, thanks. Uh, whatever. Let's just go, babe. We don't have time for this. We gotta get some more Gucci bags, and mm, I'm thinking of buying some Louis Vuitton as well. Let's not waste time. Come on! Who was that guy who was constantly staring at my eyes? Gosh, he looked so dreamy. His face seemed a little... familiar. Maybe I've seen him somewhere before. Uh, I guess I'll never know. Everyone knows how beautiful you are behind those glasses. Use your beauty and get financially strong. I mean, look at me. I was in your shoes when we were little. My family struggled pretty much the same, but then everything got better when I started dating my boyfriend Jacob. Maybe she's not wrong. I can actually get more attention and more money like this, but what if everyone finds out and they make fun of me? I'm already being a joke for everyone in school. It wouldn't hurt if it got a little worse. At least I'll be able to help my dad. I can do this. Wait. There are so many familiar faces here. Oh no, I think they're my 
my school senior group! What if they recognize me? Ah! Gotta hide! Uh, hey, may I have this dance? Huh? You? <laughs> Seems like fate has brought us close again. Blake here. Yours? Um, I'm Carla. Are you a senior student at Brookhaven High? Of course I am. And I'm pretty sure you're a junior. So, Miss Carla, may I have this dance with the most gorgeous lady in the dance today? Oh no, he's asking me to dance. What should I do? This could be my chance. I shouldn't let it go. Sure, I'd love to. But, uh, what about your girlfriend? Isn't she here? Oh, you mean that girl? Uh, wait, what? Why is she dancing with some other guy and not with you? Uh, because she's not my girlfriend anymore, but an ex. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please, don't be. Because I'd rather be with the most beautiful lady, like you. So, uh, should we dance? Of course. It was a great night with you, Blake. Thank you so much for dancing with me tonight. Yeah, but, <laughs> well, uh, the night isn't over yet, you know. Um, I'm sorry, but what? I don't get it. A brand new Porsche. But it's incomplete without a lady like you in it. What do you say? Shall we go for a long ride? Um... There's no way I can say no now. Maybe if I go with him, he'll leave me with a huge amount of checks? Oh, yeah, sure, I love long rides. <laughs> Perfect. Come on. your mansion? It's way bigger than I had imagined. Your family must be super rich. <laughs> yeah, right. Ugh, darling, it's not that my family's rich. It's just that my parents happened to die too early, so I took over their wealth. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> I'm so relieved that they passed away. At least I got to have their riches. Come on, follow me. But wait! Man, he's harsh. He's not even sorry for his parents. How cold-hearted is this man? Should I really trust him and go inside? I don't have any other choice, do I? Even his room is so fancy! I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that you've never seen such a beautiful house before, and that you wished you had a place like this, right? Um, kinda? How do you know? It's because I can understand a girl's emotions with their looks. And I can tell you're not from a very rich family. And if I were to do your ID test, then... <laughs> maybe your mom is a little fishy. Okay, now that is weird. How does he even know that much about me? Um... Don't worry, princess. I may have done some research about you after the day I first saw you in that clothing store. But don't worry, I'm not a creep. You know what? If you're wondering if I'll leave you with a huge amount of check or what, then let me tell you that my money and thoughts are not so cheap. I can give you something even bigger and better. What do you mean? You can be the queen of this palace if you'd like. Only for a day, that is. I... 
don't get it. I'll explain. But before that, you have to wait and let me take a quick shower. How does that sound? I, uh, okay. I guess I'll wait for you here. This feels very strange. Why does he speak to me so unnormally? This is just the beginning, Carla. I'm sure many other girls encounter way worse than this. <sighs> he is quite dreamy, though. Huh? Whoa. That's such a big car coming near the mansion. Way better than Blake's Porsche. Oh my gosh. Is that... Emilio? The guy from the school when he was being bullied so badly in the restroom? Does he live in such a big mansion like this? No way. Emilio, wait! Uh... C Carla? Hey, it's me, Carla! Do you remember me from the day when... Uh, I know. I'm sorry. I can't talk to you right now. Bye! No, wait! I have to ask you something. What is it? What happened to your glasses? And, um, is this your car? And do you own this mansion all by yourself? But how? You were just a nerd in school and even got bullied. I don't trust people like you to tell my story. So back off. Jeez, you don't have to be so rude. I helped you with that jerk from that day. He was about to kill you, remember? Whatever, you're so full of yourself. I'm leaving. I'm sorry for being rude, Anne. Thank you so much for everything. But I don't think you're ready to know my story, Carla. Trust me, Emilio. It's okay. We all have bad memories. I'm sure that your story isn't as bad as mine. <sighs> the thing is... This is my parents' house. I don't live here, but I'm still half the owner of this place and... If you want to know my full name, you may have heard about Styles, right? Wait, what? You mean THE Harry Styles? What about him? Exactly. I'm Emilio Styles, Harry Styles' son. And no one in the school knows about me. The truth is I just wanted to live a normal life as a kid. And I was so tired with all the luxuries in my life. I was constantly everyone's attention because I looked just like my dad. So I decided to become a nerd in order just to be a normal kid in school. Even though I got bullied a lot for being one, it wasn't as bad as being the center of people's attention all the time. Uh, Emilio, this is so unbelievable. I'm so sorry that you had to go through all of that just to live a normal life. I can relate to a lot of your story. But, uh, what are you doing here? And did you just have a makeover? You look completely... Um... Completely what? Completely ugly? No, no, no. That's not what I meant. Um, you look completely different. And so... So... Beautiful. Keep my secret safe, please. His deep voice and him being so close to me. This is so magical. Sure, it's all safe with me. Don't worry. You still didn't answer my question. What are you doing here? Isn't it a bit too late for you to be hanging out? Oh no, how am I supposed to tell him that I was actually on a date with Blake? But he's way richer than Blake. Carla, he's mature. The son of a top celebrity and most importantly... He's relatable. Uh, hello? So, um... <laughs> What's wrong, Carla? Are you okay? What happened? Tell me. I was actually partying out with some of my female friends, and then there was this guy who was staring at me like I was a piece of pie, and he went all wild on me. I tried to escape and run as fast as I could, but I think he's still looking for me. Oh my god! That is terrible! Are you okay, though? Did he hurt you anywhere? We can go to the doctor. No, I just... I just want to go home. Please, can you drop me off at my place? 
Of course, you don't even have to ask. Please sit. Thanks, Emilio. It's so kind of you. Huh? Carla? Carla? Ugh! Did she just leave? Ugh! This piece of freak! Huh? This isn't my house, Emilio. I know. Please follow me. Are you ready? Um, Emilio, what are you doing? Please trust me. Oh, this is so beautiful! Yeah, but don't look down there. Huh? Ah! We're going to die from up here! <laughs> relax, relax. I've got you. Please just let's get down from here. I'm scared of heights. Calm down, you're all safe here with me. No one can ever do any harm to you. Just take deep breaths with me, okay? Uh, okay. <sighs> wow, this actually feels better. Do you usually come here all by yourself? Most of the time, yeah. It's my favorite spot and I wish that one day I'll bring my wife all the way up here to show her that beautiful lights of the city. Then, um, why did you bring me here? Carla, actually, there's something I want to tell you. Do you mind? Of course, I won't mind. What is it? I... Hey, you! How dare you even get close to my girlfriend! Hey, she's not your girlfriend, she's mine! <gasps> what did you say? Huh? Tell him that you were about to be with me this night! What the heck? Mind your language, dude! I think you're saying way too much now. How dare you even accuse my girl for doing such a filthy act? Oh yeah? Then why don't you ask her instead? I'm sure she'll tell you the truth. Carla, is this true? I, uh, Emilio? Blake, guys... Carla! Carla! Open your eyes! Carla! I... Where... Am I? Please lay down, Carla. You're in the hospital and you're completely fine. You fainted because you were too stressed. I... Emilio, I'm so sorry for everything. I know I messed up, but trust me, I didn't want to do all of this intentionally. My financial situation made me do it. I wanted my dad to stay alive. He's the only hope I have. I don't want him to leave me as well. Please forgive me, I know you hate me, but... I can never hate you. Don't worry, I found out everything and I know you're saying the truth because... I read your diary once secretly. I found out everything about you. Your family, and the truth about your mom, and I could really relate my life with yours. That's why I fell in love with you in the first place. But I wasn't sure that you'll love me back because of how beautiful you are. I know you did all of this for a reason. You even lied about a guy chasing after you. But I forgive you. And I still love you. Wait, what? You... love me? I was about to say this before you fainted. I actually wanted to ask if you'd like to marry me. Why not a girlfriend? I'm not afraid of commitments, Carla. And I'd love to have you as my wife. Which is more than a girlfriend. So, will you? <laughs> uh... What's wrong? You're proposing to me in the hospital. You do realize that, right? Well, I guess that makes it more special. What do you say? Of course, love. I'd love to. I love you so much, Emilio. I love you so much, too. Love. If 
there's one thing I learned from my experience, it's that money doesn't matter when it comes to love. All that matters is a pure heart who can love you and respect you the way that you deserve. After we got married, I gave birth to a baby boy named Ryan. We were so happy to have him in our life. But sadly, my dad was not able to see his grandson as he passed away because of cancer. But to continue his lineage, I named my son after his name. So, I can show my gratitude to my father. As for my mom, she was nowhere to be found. And I didn't have to worry about her anyway, because now I had a family of my own.